Brainiacs, have you ever considered that falling asleep could be deadly? That what we dream about could kill us here in the real world? Maybe even more horrifying than that, have you ever wondered if while you were asleep, you could be the one doing the killing, but you wouldn't have any idea? Today we are discussing how dreams can indeed be deadly, some real-life instances of when this has occurred, and also when someone has been fast asleep and went on a rampage against his family. Looks like Freddy Krueger's got nothing compared to today's video. Dreams can be really intense experiences. We've all woken up in a cold sweat after a particularly terrifying nightmare and felt our heart racing at 100 miles per hour. But can the subject of our dreams cause us to die in real life? For example, if we dreamed that we were running into the street naked to avoid a herd of lions and then we were hit by a truck, could this kill us here in the real world? For many years, it was believed that this could be the case. In the 1970s, Cambodian refugees that fled to the United States were thought to be dying in their sleep due to terrifying nightmares of their experiences while living under Pol Pot's Khmer Rouge regime. Seemingly healthy young men who claimed they didn't want to go to sleep due to bad dreams would simply never wake up and die in their sleep. But as research continued on these young men, scientists found out the true cause of their untimely demises. Turns out these men weren't dying because of their nightmares. They had Brugada syndrome. This syndrome causes irregular heartbeats in the lower chambers of the heart. So it wasn't the dream, it was their condition. So go ahead and put your mind to rest when it comes to those dreams of you falling off a skyscraper and waking up just before you hit the ground. The dream itself won't kill you. However, a dream like this could absolutely lead to your death. When we are asleep, we put our bodies in a rather vulnerable state. A terrifying dream could cause someone to roll around, and if they were in a bunk bed or on a loft, they could absolutely fall in such a way that they seriously hurt themselves. In fact, 450 people die per year due to falling out of bed. On top of that, sleeping is also a time that humans are more susceptible to heart attacks. When humans are in the rapid eye movement, or REM state, we not only start to dream and get a good night's rest, but funny things start happening to our heartbeat as well. During this time, our heart rates are less stable than they normally would be while awake. If you have a heart condition, you very well could up your chances of a heart attack as you sleep. A terrifying dream can cause a burst of adrenaline in your system, which would mean your heart rate suddenly increases and, you guessed it, this could cause a heart attack. This is the closest it gets to a dream killing you in real life, so don't worry as long as you don't have a heart condition, you can keep watching those scary movies. But the danger doesn't stop there, Brainiacs. Sleepwalking is quite real, and there have been accounts of people not only hurting themselves unintentionally while asleep, but hurting others too. One famous sleepwalking case involved a teenage girl named Sandy, and when she was asleep, she tore her bedroom door off the hinges one night. She was unable to replicate the strength when she was awake, and scientists theorized it was due to the adrenaline her body produced while dreaming. Another case of sleepwalking weirdness happened when a young man drove to his parents' house over 10 miles away while asleep. He finally woke up when he was startled by the sound of his own fists hammering on the front door of the house. Weird, right? But do sleepwalkers ever do anything more sinister? The answer is yes. A famous 1987 case which involved a Canadian man, Kenneth Parks, ended with his acquittal of a charge of murder when he used the sleepwalking defense. Parks first drove 14 miles to his parents-in-law's house, strangled his father-in-law, causing him to pass out, then hit his mother-in-law over the head with a tire iron, and then stabbed them both with a kitchen knife. When police talked to him, he had no recollection of any of it, and had no memory of how the injuries he had sustained during the encounter had occurred. So the jury found him not guilty. Their reasoning? If he's not conscious, he's not responsible, and thus, not guilty. So what can you do if you or someone you know is a sleepwalker? You guessed it, see your doctor. Luckily, there are medications that you can take, like benzodiazepines, which not only reduce nightmares, but will also stop the strolling around whilst asleep, and should put an end to those unconscious attacks as well. Well, looks like if you are having bad dreams, best make sure that you do all you can in the real world to make sure your heart is in tip-top shape and maybe line your floor with some super soft pillows. Cause while the dream itself won't kill you, what happens afterward just might. And when it comes to sleepwalking, if you see someone strolling around deep in sleep, best to just leave them be and get them to a doctor right away once they wake up.